hello children today let us learn real numbers full chapter i will be working out each and every exercise and make a, i'll tell you the easy tricks and techniques how to remember the sums and how to handle the questions as well as i'll be telling you which sums are more important for board exam do make a note and practice more uh, similar type of questions this is not any design or anything let me take you to here a uh, lower classes n in this circle indicates it is set of natural numbers this is whole numbers set of whole numbers zero plus natural number that's why in whole number natural number also is included then z is integers integers include whole number then whole number includes natural number that means z is zero positive integer 2 3 4 This side minus one, minus two, minus three, dash dash both the side. So that is integers, and this is q is rational number which is of the form p by q. So here you can see rational number. When we say rational number, rational number includes all the integers, then whole number, and natural number. So rational number include all these. Now one set we have placed it separately. That is this is irrational number. irrational numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q they are like root 2 root 3 root 5 these are irrational number they do not fall in this set so when we add both together that is rational number plus irrational number together are called as real numbers this is where our chapter begins so we'll be learning rational as well as irrational number in this chapter so let's start before starting let me give you the formulas which we are going to use in this chapter that is with two uh, formulas will be using that is a plus b whole square formula that is a square plus 2ab plus b square then one more a plus b whole cube we will be using that is a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square one more thing children you might have learned the same formula as a cube plus b cube plus 3 ab and bracket a plus b here in this chapter we are not going to use this format we will be using directly this way this formula so this is a way which will help us in this chapter okay so these are the two algebraic identities which are we are going to use and one more hcf into lcm equal to a into b a and b are two integers or two given numbers not it they are given numbers in question or like for example hcf of 56 and 72 so one will be taken as a and another will be b so these are the given numbers hcf into lcm is equal to product of the two numbers as we move ahead i will be explaining in detail about it as of now these are the formulas later will be using more so first one to introduce uh, you all with this euclid's division lemma now you might be thinking what is this name yes euclid is the father of uh, geometry euclid has given one statement the lemma means it is a statement that is a equal to b q plus r now before i reading up what is this lemma and all let me Uh, give you a simple way of it to remember you know this dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder check your children now this one you have learnt in your lower classes now the same thing euclid has given in this format given positive integer a and b now here a is dividend b is divisor there exist unique integer q and r when you divide a by b for example 10 and you divide it by 5 this is a and b then you'll get quotient and remainder so when you take two numbers that is a and b automatically you'll get the other two integer that is q there exist unique integer q and r this is what euclid has told that is r satisfying a equal to b q plus r one more thing this statement makes an important role in this chapter remainder will always be whenever we get remainder after division will always be 
less than b for example here it is 5 then remainder see if i divide with any other number divide with 17 or like that remainders you will get will be 0 1 2 3 4 that's it so if it is 5 here b is 5 remainder will be 1 less than that if i divide 10 with 3 then remainder is 3 uh, divisor is 3 so we will get remainder as 0 1 2 if it is divisor is 2 then remainder will be 0 and 1 1 less than b so that is what b is our divisor got it this is our euclid's division lemma now based on this we will be working out exercise 1.1 first one find euclid's division algorithm to find hcf of this 135 and 225 so whichever is a bigger number take that 225 divided 135 so this will go one time 135 0 90 remaining bring this 135 one time 90 then this will be 5 45 i am bringing this here again divisor bring it 45 two times will be 90 you have to continue until you get 0 first whichever is a greater one select it 135 the other one divided one time it will go always make a note that what remainder you get in this first division that should be less than the divisor here remainder in the second set this is our first this is our second division and this is our third division now we'll have to put it in the form of euclid's division lemma so this is our a dividend divisor b then quotient q remainder r so what did applying euclid's division lemma a equal to bq plus r so we have a here 225 b is 135 into 1 plus r is 90 most important point divisor should be first you cannot change it as qb the whole sum will go wrong then in the second set 135 is your dividend then divisor is now 90 into how many times one time plus what is the remainder here 45 45 then in this third step 90 this one is a dividend 90 equal to 45 into 2 plus 0 so these are the euclid's division lemma now where is our hcf hcf of what we have found out 135 and 225 make habit of writing this one these are our a and b so it will be the last one b in the last statement or here in the division this one will be our HCF that is HCF of 135 and 225 is 45. Hope you understood this. Now for the second question, here I will this is the greater one 38220 and this is not normal division children. We can go up to 10 times if I go see this is 3 digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 5 digit. So if I go up to say 10 times into 10, it will be 1960. If I go 100 times, then 196 into 100 times, it will be 19600. Yes, here I am getting 5 digit. This is 3 times. So it is difficult for us to go uh, when it is a big number divided by 5 digit with 3 or like that. So best way to handle this question is like we will do normal division and we will come to know which one or which number it will go so first i will start with one time 196 then remainder here will be 186 bring this two down the normal division i am doing then nine times it will go 1764 then we get here uh, 98 this zero down okay so yeah five times see here this completely is divisible with 195 we can go like this 38220 so what do you do in exam if at all you get an unknown number and a digit where you can 
divide it so best do the normal division bring it and put it here the same dividend if at all you get remainder here then go for the nearer one remainder will be there and continued steps will be there but here in this case it is ending here so euclid's division lemma bq plus r so a here is 38220 equal to 196 into 195 plus 0 so hcf will be b of this one the one statement so hcf of 196 and 38220 is equal to 196 next sum try doing it you can pause the video and start working and later check the answer 867 then it will go three times 765 then it will be remainder 1 or 2 continue bring this down 255 this is such a fun children so this will go how many times two times 2 not 4 bring this bring this here down remainder is 51 continue 1 or 2 then here you get two times 1 uh, or 2 so remainder you have to continue up to 0 and you have to get 0 got it so these are the remainders of this one. so let us write the ideal applying euclid's division lemma a equal to this is a 867 equal to 255 into 3 plus remainder 1 or 2 this is remainder this is a now this is b this is q this is r so second statement 255 then 1 or 2 into 2 plus remainder 51 then in third step we have this is a this is b this is q and r so 1 or 2 51 into 2 plus 0 so what is your hcf 51 so therefore hcf of write it it is 51 done so you can do i'll give you more sums on this you can work out now second one here is in this question it is different and you have not done this type of sum previously show that any positive odd integer any pod, positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1 and 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5 now what do they mean actually what is it is of the form 6q plus 1 6q plus 3 and all so we should assume that here in this case b equal to 6 whenever there is simply any positive odd or even integer without any square or a cube in given in the question just take out whatever number given here in the question so this would be a major confusion for the children which number should i assume to be b so when it is normal odd number even number anything simple positive odd integer then take the given que in question which number is given take that b equal to let b equal to 6 then what will be our remainder remainder will be greater than equal to 0 but less than b so what it should be r will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 one less than b so we all the cases we have to write it applying applying edl let a equal to bq plus r first case r equal to 0 so a equal to b here is 6 because we assumed it to be 6 q we don't know any q question plus 0 second case r b 1 then a equal to 6q plus 1 third case r equal to 2 then a equal to 6q plus 2 fourth case r equal to 3 a equal to 6q plus 3 likewise you get 6q plus 4 and 6q plus 5 now when we see here in this case which will be your odd number here Six q even number odd number will be six q plus one even number odd will be six q plus three 
then this is even number all the cases so 6 cube plus 5 so therefore you have to write the given the or any odd positive integer any odd positive integer is of the form is of the form 6 cube plus 1 6 cube plus 3 and 6 cube or 6 cube plus 5 so it is understood that they are in the even form nothing great we have done just wrote the remainders that's it the sum is that way next question okay here in this question we have an army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band 32 members in a parade the two group are to march in the same number of columns what is the maximum children i have done a video on case studies similar type of uh, question so you can check out that case study based question whenever it is maximum this keyword for you to do hcf so simple just do hcf of 616 and 32 find the answer and let me know your answer just normal euclid's division lemma take down do this way and work out fourth question use euclid's division lemma to show that square of you can see here i have just made square highlighted square just to make the difference in the question over here so any positive integer like in the previous question i told if it is any odd or positive integer whatever is the number given in the question take it here it is square when it is squared or cube you need to check the given number 3 does it have any factor can i split it up into any other thing numbers 3 and 1 only no it is a prime number so assume let b equal to 3 only so r will be here 0 1 2 so three cases arise here so what are the first case okay applying edl what is edl a equal to bq plus r so first case r equal to 0 so we get a equal to uh, 3 q plus 0 this is not over here children 3 q i've just dropped the 0 here square and right here squaring both the sides what do you what happens here when i square both the side i'll write it here a square equal to 9 q square but there is no mention of q in the question so i will take 3 we want it why to match up with the question 3 is required i will pull out only 3 remaining all keep it in the bracket so this is of the form 3 m right where m equal to what is m 3 cube square whatever is there in the bracket that is m so this we have brought it they asked us to put it in the form 3m so we brought it in the form of 3m so next case we have to do that is r equal to 1 so we have a equal to 3 q plus 1 then we have a square equal to 3 q plus 1 whole square that is squaring both the side you have to write it don't write sbs you have to write full otherwise your people will lose marks then after squaring both the side what happened don't just square it and keep it you have to use identity a square plus b square plus 2ab then i have put the formula a square equal to 9q square plus I'll put this as 6q and this 1 square I'll put it at the end. See this 1 is a ready made thing for us. I'll highlight this 1 very much. Why? Because I want this 1 here like in question. So I'm very happy that I got 1 like this. So now remaining what it will be? In this case, so You can just ignore this a square now i want only three here q is ready to come out we don't want q so three q square plus two q plus one check out children from this part i brought three out 
दो क्यू इज कॉमन नॉट नेसेसरी नाउ वी विल बी प्रोइंग थ्री एम प्लस वन फॉर्म सो थ्री मैच विद द क्वेश्चन थ्री एम प्लस वन नो वॉट इज एम हियर वेर देर फोर वेर एम इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू स्क्वेर प्लस टू क्यू डन वी प्रूव इट ऑफ द फॉर्म थ्री एम प्लस वन नो वन मोर थिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्रूव नो थ्री एम एंड थ्री एम प्लस वन क्वेश्चन आज टू थ्री एम एंड थ्री एम प्लस वन शुड वी स्टॉप हियर नो वी हैव टू इवन प्रूव फॉर टू ऑल्सो दैट ऑल्सो दो रिमे सो नो टू केसेस वी फिनिश फॉर जीरो एंड वन नो लेट मी टेक आर इक्वल टू टू अप्लाइंग ई डी एल ए इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू प्लस टू आई एम गोइंग टू स्क्वेयर इट बिकॉज दे आज इन द क्वेश्चन सो ए स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू प्लस टू होल स्क्वेयर वाई आई एम डूइंग स्क्वेरिंग बोथ द साइड्स येस सो हियर आई विल पुट दिस वन आई टेक इट हियर ए स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू ए स्क्वेयर फॉर्मूला प्लस टू इंटू ए इंटू बी प्लस टू स्क्वेयर सो ए स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू नाइन क्यू स्क्वेयर प्लस ट्वेल्व क्यू प्लस फोर आर ए बाप वी डीन गेट आई दर थ्री एम और थ्री एम प्लस वन लाइक इन द प्रीवियस केस वन वॉज देयर इट वॉज ईजी एंड इफ इट दिस वॉज थ्री इट वुड हैव बीन ईजी टू टेक आउट कॉमन थ्री बट दिस फोर इज अ प्रॉब्लम ब्रेक इट सो ब्रेक दिस फोर एंड मेक इट नाइन क्यू स्क्वेर प्लस ट्वेल्व क्यू प्लस थ्री प्लस येस वन सो नाउ वी कैन टेक आउट थ्री कॉमन आउट सो विच इज अ प्रॉब्लम चिल्ड्रेन वॉट यू विल डू ब्रेक इट सो थ्री क्यू स्क्वेर फोर क्यू प्लस वन प्लस दिस वन सो दिस इज ऑफ द फॉर्म थ्री एम प्लस वन डन वेर this you have to write it over here i don't have space i am writing it where m equal to 3 q square plus 4 q plus 1 important do not miss out this part so we have proved that division euclid division lemma show that square of any positive integer is of the form 3m plus m or 3m plus 1 in all the three cases we proved it let r equal to 2 so a equal to b q plus r applying edl then we have a equal to 3 q plus 2 then we have a cube equal to 3 q plus 2 whole cube so uh, what we did here cubing both the sides so i will take it here a cube formula for this a plus b whole cube a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square just substitution of formula we have 27 q q plus 8 plus 3 square 9 9 into 3 27 27 8 2 54 q square plus 339 And four thirty-six q. Now, when we match up with the question, we have got this eight as a ready-made thing. So we will group all this q plus fifty-four q square plus thirty-six q plus eight. Be happy that you have the ready-made thing. No need to break things. So from here all nine common out. so you can see even q is common we don't want because we want this m to be 9 m plus 8 form so what is here 3 q cube plus 9 6 q square plus 4 q plus 8 now this is of the form 9 m plus 8 we proved it here so finally where m may equal to what is the value of m what is there in the bracket everything is m done so this we complete our exercise 1.1 exercise 1.2 express each in the number as product of its prime so we have to express as a product of prime so 140 here this way two times 70 then two times 35 then five times 7 so we have to express in the form of the 
powers 2 square 2 times it has occurred so 2 square into 5 into 7 that's it so I will just go on giving you the numbers you can pause the video and do it yourself this is the most easiest part so 2 square into 4 into 13 then see to that they are prime factors then 3 8 2 5 always for the bigger number here 2 3 square into 5 square into 17 then for this fourth one we have uh, as I was telling for the bigger number now as you can see it is divisible by 5 so go in order 5 7 11 so like that it will not go in 3 so do the divisibility test and then go on with this so you get your 5 into 7 into 11 into 13 these are the primes of 5005 5, 5, and this one here if you start checking with 7 4 2 9 this will not go in the prime number not in 2 not in 3 not in 5 not in 7 so what you do is go on checking with in ascending order of the prime number not even in 11 or 13 so this will start from 17 into 19 into 23 so as fundamental theorem of arithmetic when you go on checking 2 it is not divisible 3 and all later when you start with 17 you will not get back these number again you will not get divisibility by 2 3 or 5 so it will go on increase in the prime number so this is the first main second main find LCM and HCF of the following pair of integer and verify that here see LCM into HCF is product of two numbers. In starting only I gave you the uh, formula for this HCF into LCM equal to product of two numbers. Two numbers will take it as A and B. So first question A is equal to 26, B is equal to 91. They ask us to first find LCM and HCF. So 26 will write it in the form of prime uh, factors 2 into 13. 91 is written as 7 into 13 HCF we have to take only common thing one time HCF is 13 LCM will be common thing one time common thing one time and all extra things also should be taken so when we multiply all this we get 182 they ask us to verify so for verification the formula is LCM into HCF is equal to A product of two numbers A into B. So LCM here is 182 into 13 HCF is 13. What is A here? 26 into 91. So you get it 2366 equal to 2366. So verify. If you don't get equal then somewhere your HCF or LCM is wrong. Do check it again. Next question of the same main that is second one. Sorry. Yeah. So second question here you have 510 okay and 92. So let A be 510 and B integer 92. So 510 I will write it as 2 into 3 into 5 into 17 prime factors 92 is 2 square that is 2 into 2 into 23 now look for HCF HCF will always be common thing one time now here 2 is common but we have highest degree here 2 and 1 so here 2 2 is common for HCF take the lower degree that is 2 raised to 1 3 5 17 23 not common so HCF will be only 2 remember lower degree in the common one LCM will be two common take higher degree for LCM two square three and the rest one all you have to multiply and you will get a big number here that is two three four six zero so let us see verification verification HCF LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers LCM is 2 3 4 6 0 HCF is 2 
and the numbers are 510 and 92 when you multiply you get 46920 equal to 46920 yes verify do remember here children hcf and lcm how to take it highest degree and lower degree next question is 336 and 54 336 we will write it as 2 raised to 4 into 3 into 7 that means 2 into 2 into 2 4 times 3 into 7 54 is 2 into 3 cube so hcf hcf what is common 2 is common as well as 3 is common so what is hcf here 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 4 which is a lower degree 3 is Here three is here, which is the lower degree, three raised to one. So that is six is HCF. LCM is okay. Two common in both, common thing one time, but here higher degree you should take four, two and four. Then this will be three common, three common, which is the greater degree, three raised to three. And remember HCF is more liberal; it will not leave anybody behind. Seven will feel bad, so it will take even seven together. And go so LCM here will be one eight one four four. So we got it. Finally, I don't think that is the case. Next question, third question that is three thirty six is written as two raised to four into three into seven fifty four equal to two into three cube. Now for HCF. As I told you all, two is common here in both, so we'll have to consider two, and three is common in both. Yes, we have to consider three as well. But for HCF, the lower degree we will take it. Two raised to one, two, three cube, three. So it will be only three. So HCF will be six. So do remember lower degree, whichever is common. For LCM, it is ultra of it. Two common, higher degree. Two raised to four, three common, higher degree. Then LCM is more liberal. It will not leave anybody behind. Seven is there alone, so it will take even seven and move on. So finally, LCM here will be three zero two four. Now let us verify here. Verification. Verification will be L into H equal to A into B. LCM equal to HCF into HCF. LCM here is three zero two four. HCF is six. A here is three thirty six into fifty four. So finally, we get here one eight one four four equal to one eight one four four. Yes, verified. Okay. Next question. Third one. Find the HCF and LCM of the following integers by applying prime factorization method. Here, children, this is. Uh, third main and okay there are three terms given 12 15 and 21 third question same exercise find L lcm and hcf of the following integer by applying the prime factorization method in this we have three numbers so this will not hold good for hcf into lcm equal to a into b into c So no, when three digits are there, it might be equal or might not be equal. So they will not ask you this part in board exam. So don't worry about that part. So twelve, we will write it as two square into three. Fifteen is written as three into five. Twenty-one is written as three into seven. Now for HCF, we have to find out HCF. As I told you, what is common in all? Three is common, and all are same degree. HCF is three. LCM will be common thing one time three common rest all take it LCM very liberal it will carry everybody along with it so finally when we multiply three into four into five into seven we get here four twenty then next sum second sum so I don't think there is much explanation over here yeah this is important children seventeen uh, twenty three And this can be asked for one more question. So here, seventeen is all our prime number. Seventeen is seventeen into one. 
ट्वेंटी थ्री इज़ ट्वेंटी थ्री इंटू वन ट्वेंटी नाइन इज ट्वेंटी नाइन इंटू वन सो एच सी एफ विल बी वेन दे आर को प्राइम वी कॉल देम एज दे आर प्राइम एज वेल एज को प्राइम टू ईच अदर सो इट इज़ वन एच सी एफ कैन नॉट बी और विल नॉट बी जीरो एट एनी टाइम्स एल सी एम नथिंग कॉमन मल्टीप्लाई एवरी थिंग सो वॉट डू यू गेट हियर इन दिस केस वन वन थ्री थ्री नाइन दिस इज योर एल सी एम Here in this question, eight, nine, and twenty-five. Eight is two cube into one. Nine is three square into one. Twenty-five is five square into one. So HCF will be only one because only one is common. As I told you before, HCF cannot be zero, so it is one. So these type of numbers which are prime but they do not share any common factor they are called as coprime numbers so please make a note of it next exercise we will be using this word coprime the numbers which do not have any common factor other than one they are called as coprime then lcm lcm is 2 cube into 3 square into 5 square that is 8 into 9 into 25 This is eighteen hundred. So this is LCM. Next question. Here I had given you all formula HCF into LCM equal to A into B. So let us write the given things here. A equal to three not six. These two numbers are A and B. B equal to six fifty seven. HCF is given. They say HCF of these two number is nine. Is given nine, so LCM we have to find out. L equal to from this one. L equal to bring this H down. A into B product of two numbers divided by H. L equal to A here is three not six, six fifty seven divided by nine. Don't multiply and make it as a big number. Three times one zero two thirty four times so thirty four into six fifty seven. Is equal to here two thousand twenty two thousand three hundred thirty eight. So this is LCM. This is very important for exam. Do practice extra question based on this. Type next question. It is check whether six raised to n can end with the digit zero for any natural number. This can be given for one mark or three mark as well. If it is given for three marks, you have to write the whole thing. If the number six raised to n for any n, do pause the video and note down the steps to be written. If at all it is given only for one mark, you have to write down six raised to n equal to two into three raised to n, and it does not contain a prime factor five. The prime factorization does not contain prime factor five. so the uniqueness of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic yeah, this is a keyword you have to write it do not miss even it is for one mark or three marks and complete this so uh, no other prime in the factorization of 6 raised to n so there is no natural number which ends with n for n it will end with 0 If at all they give you say four, four as two square, that is prime factor is only two. If it is say twelve, twelve will have two square into three. The prime factors are only two and three. So likewise, split up, find the prime factors and say five is not there as a prime factor, so it will not end with zero. In case if they give something like twenty and say it contains two as well as five, so it will it is already ending with zero. In that case. you can say it will end they will not give you such kind of question only this type of questions will be given to you next one sixth question here in this question we have two parts so first one and the second one first one here we have to prove them as composite number composite numbers so it is 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 see plus i made it big Make it as a separator. This is one term, and this is one term. So 13 I will pull out common. 
seven into eleven into one plus one remaining because this thirteen and this thirteen has been taken as common out. Thirteen seventy seven plus one thirteen into seventy eight. So we write here. Therefore, the given number given number when we multiply this or the question when you simplify you get a number. The given number has thirteen and seventy eight. as its factors so it is composite number so it is composite number now those who don't have the idea or you uh, confusion regarding composite number let me give you an example 6 6 is divisible by 2 divisible by 3 other than itself and 1 If it is divisible by only itself and one, then it would be prime number. But six is divisible by two as well as three, so it is having some other factors also. So it is composite. If I take twelve, twelve is divisible by two, four, three, six. Other than it is divisible by twelve as well as one. So other than itself and one, it is divisible by two, four, three, six. So twelve is a composite number. Likewise, this big number. Which is divisible by thirteen and seventy-eight, other than itself and one, so it is a composite number. So here we'll make this one. We have solved A, and this part I'll make it as B. So second part, second not second part, second question. Okay. So sixth me second question. See, I've written it here, and can you see? I have made this big one plus is a separator. Which number do you see on this side? Five, and here this five. This all will be a single term. Pull out five here. Then seven into six five has gone outside into one. Four into three into two into one plus one because this five has been pulled out. So five here we get one zero zero eight plus one. This when you multiply all you get this one. So five into One zero zero nine. Do we multiply and make it as a big number? No, children, not necessary. You will get five five thousand forty five something. So not necessary. What would should be conclusion is more important than the number. Therefore, the given number given number has five and one zero zero nine as its factor factors. Therefore, so or hence. it is composite number what is composite number given number given number is composite number which is a given number is this one this is the given number understood yeah next one last question of the six size there is a circular path so this is your keyword here circular path so anything moving in circle what you have to do i will tell you around a sports field sonia takes 18 minutes so sonia is taking 18 minutes and ravi is taking 12 minutes sum is very simple suppose they start at the same point and same time and go in same direction after how many minutes they will meet again so if they are starting from point a and how many minutes they are meeting again if they start from a together but one is moving ahead sonia is faster than ravi so after how much uh, time they will meet together there is no question of coming back as such because when they are moving in a circular path even if there are two clocks it is they are moving they, the bell rings at certain time of the day after how much time they will ring together so all this which are moving in a circular track you have to do lcm so to do lcm 18 is written as what 2 into 9, so it will be 2 into 3 square. This will be 2 square into 3, 4 into 3. LCM, what is the trick? Common, common. Greater degree, greater degree. So what will be the final answer? 4 into 9. After 36 minutes, they will meet together at some point or start. Yeah, meet together at starting point. Sorry, at starting point. Done. That's it. With exercise one point two, next we'll do exercise one point three. Next exercise, exercise one point three. 
first question prove that root 5 is irrational so here these are the statements we have to write in let us assume to the contrary root 5 is rational that means that we already know that it is irrational so for the contrary so we will assume it to be a rational so whenever we assume any number to be rational it should be of the form p by q where q is not equal to 0 here we will assume a and b instead of p by q the total out, uh, outline of the sum is when we assume it to be a by b root 5 equal to a by b we will prove now a and b have some common factor here we have assumed because a and b are co-prime that means they don't have any common factor now we will prove that they have common factor other than one so our assumption will be wrong we will prove ourselves wrong at the end of the sum and say it is irrational so now such that uh, write it this way this is the main body of the sum statements are equally important 5 equal to a now i will square both the side see here squaring both the sides what did i do squaring both the sides here b will become b square square and square root cancel we get 5 equal to a square so we will leave here uh, b square equal to a square divided by 5 so we will write therefore 5 divides a square so if it is dividing a square then it will divide a as well so 5 divides a now in this case make this one as equation 1 this one as equation 1 now here we prove that a is divided by 5 divisible by 5 now we will show b also is divisible by 5 now in this case here let a equal to 5c for some integer for some integer c now how do we know that a only i should take 5c these are the steps we have to follow look in equation 1 b is having 5 so a will also want 5 so we will take a equal to 5c this is a te uh, technique to remember that way now what we'll do here is we substitute here we got our equation b square 5 is equal to a square this is our equation 1 substituting a equal to 5c in equation 1 so what happens b square 5 or 5b square equal to a is 5c so it is a square see i have substituted in equation b as it is b square 5 as it is in place of a square we will put 5c whole square so what happens here uh, in this case b square into 5 equal to 25c square so we will get here b square into 5 divided by 25 equal to c square leave that c there only 1 by 5 so what did we get here therefore 5 divides 5 divides b square so 5 divides b so what happened in the previous slide here we showed 5 divides a square and 5 divides a here what happened 5 divides b square 5 divides b so we showed that it has at least 5 as its common factor so therefore a and b have at least 5 as common factor but this contradicts the fact that they are co-prime we assume that a and b are co-prime so why we, what happened in this case our assumption is wrong and root 5 is irrational number these statements are very 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 important the starting and the ending this can be given for three marks one more we will try of similar type the root 5 instead of root 5 we will take root 3 see how the steps remain same same thing let us assume to contrary root 3 is rational number if it is rational number then we can find integer a and b which are co-prime again co-prime root 3 can be written as a by b where b is not equal to 0 then 
cross multiply here squaring both the side what happened <coughs> after squaring we get 3b square equal to a square square and square root cancel b will take the square then make this as equation 1 then 3 uh, we will make this b square equal to a square by 3 then 3 divides therefore 3 divides a square 3 divides a so we now showed that a is having 3 as a factor now we'll go with what we have to assume here which one is having 3 b is having 3 a will ask for 3 okay so i'll write here equation 1 is 3 b square equal to a square so uh, let a equal to 3 c a is not having number so it will see b and say i want the same number what it is having so for some integer for some integer c so now we will substitute a equal to 3c in equation 1 equation 1 so we get our equation 1 is 3b square equal to a square 3b square as it is a will be 3c whole square then we get 3b square equal to 9c square so we get 3b square divided by 9c neglected leave it as it is one time three times so we got b square by three therefore three divides three divides b square three divides b so what did we show here three is a common factor for a and b so therefore a and b have at least uh, three as common factor but this contradict the fact that a and b are co prime because they are having three as common factor our assumption is wrong root three is irrational number same way children you can try with root 7 root 11 and check out steps remains same second question this is a bit different from the first one let me show you how it is different here prove that root uh, 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational same statements let us assume to the contrary that here 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational so when we assume it to be rational then there exist integers a and b which are co-prime so 3 such that 3 plus 2 root 5 is a by b now here check out for the body of the sum how it is different 3 plus 2 root 5 equal to a divided by b now you need to identify where is the irrational part it is here in root 5 we will try to isolate root 5 so go on sending this here 2 root 5 plus 3 will become minus 3 you can make this 3 by 1 so 2 root 5 I will take LCM here B so this will be into B and this will be into 1 we get A minus 3 B so we get next one here after that 2 root 5 equal to A minus 3 B divided by B send even this 2 down root 5 equal to a minus 3b divided by 2b so here you stop no squaring nothing over here just a shuffling now we showed that root 5 can be expressed in the form of some fraction so that is in a p by q form or a by b form so here we write since a and b are integers the statement uh, changes over here a bit compared to the first main we get we get root 5 equal to a minus 3b divided by 2b which is irrational which is rational according to this root 5 should be rational because it is of the form uh, in a fraction so that means so root 5 is rational check out for the statement they might be confusing so this contradicts the fact but this contradicts contradicts the fact what is the fact contradicts the fact that root 5 is irrational root 5 is irrational what is the fact here root 5 is irrational we know that 
here according to our working we got it is in the form of rational number so this contradiction has arisen because of our assumption is wrong write this part assumption is wrong therefore 3 three plus 2 root 5 is irrational so look in for the statement children so i have taken up time to write this so see to that you write it in a same format next question third one prove that 1 by root 2 is irrational number so this we will handle it like first question root 5 root 3 root 2 single number under the root we had separate method for it like squaring and all equation 1 so similarly even 1 by root 2 if they ask you 1 by root 5 1 by root 7 all handle the same way what we are going to do now so the statement remains same let us assume to contrary 1 by root 2 is rational number if it is rational number then there exist a and b integers which are co prime such that 1 by root 2 equal to a by b so let us start look out for the body of the sum a by b cross multiply so we get b equal to root 2 a then we get b square equal to root 2 a square what we did here squaring both the sides children write it in full form squaring both the sides here don't write sbs okay you lose marks for that then we have what happens here b square equal to 2a square make this as your equation 1 and leave it now we'll bring this 2 over here b square divided by 2 equal to a square now you got it what is the step therefore 2 divides 2 divides what b square then 2 divides b also so now we showed that 2 is a factor of b so we'll show the same thing even for a so here we have taken equation 1 as b square equal to 2a square so we have to assume okay i have not yet done that part we'll do it in this case so let b equal to 2c how do you decide b is 2c because see here I, i have given you technique a is having 2 here b will also ask for the same number so here b is taken as 2c so we will substitute here in this case what we have done substitute b equal to 2c in equation 1 so after substituting b square here we get 4c square 2 square c square equal to 2a square so c square just a supporting actor leave it there 2 by 4 a square cancel cancel c square a square by 2 so what did we show here therefore 2 divides 2 divides a square so 2 will divide a also so what happened in this case we showed that 2 is dividing b as well as 2 is dividing a so what happened in this case therefore the statement therefore a and b a and b have at least two as a common factor but this contradicts but this contradicts the fact what is the fact the fact that is a and b are co prime a and b are co prime because we assumed that starting right so a and b are co prime this contra continue this contradiction has been arisen because of our assumption is incorrect or assumption is wrong therefore 1 divided by root 2 is irrational so children you can try doing 1 divided by root 7 1 divided by root uh, 6 1 divided by root 3 anything you can go on working out of this third question second one uh, identify this children how it is different from the first one root 5 we did by squaring uh, 1 divided by root 2 we did by squaring and we had 3 plus 2 root 5 here we did not square it then now we have root 5 so here also this method is different the body of the sum is different the statements are same let us assume to contrary that root 7 root 5 is irrational then 
uh, we can find integers a and b which are co-prime so 7 root 5 equal to a by b this is very simple as i told you look in where is the irrational part root 5 so we will leave root 5 here a divided by 7b that's it no squaring nothing over here we just show that root 5 is of the form of rational number but this contradicts so we get here we have just rearranged it since here a and b are integers a and b are integers so we get a by 7b which is rational this is rational so so root what is the root thing here root 5 root 5 is rational because we got it in a rational form but this contradicts the fact this contradicts the fact that root 5 is rational is irrational the fact is it is irrational we got it to be rational so our assumption is wrong therefore 7 root 5 is irrational check out for the body of the sum children only this much you will have to do it that's it no extra working identify the different type of sum to be proved irrational last question of exercise 1.3 third main third sum prove that the 6 plus root 2 is irrational this we will treat it like a second sum so here let us assume to contrary that 6 plus root 2 is irrational such that we get a and b by now these things are by heart for you which are co-prime such that 6 plus root 2 equal to a by b look in for the body of the sum so how do we treat this one here plus root 2 irrational part leave root 2 here send 6 that side a divided by b minus 6 6 by 1 take lcm so you get lcm b into 1 into b so you get a minus 6b what did you get here root 2 equal to a minus 6b by b so what are the our conclusion part so here we write it same thing what we wrote after rearranging we got a and b are integers we get a and b are integers we get what did we get here a minus 6b by b a minus 6b by we get a minus 6b by b that is root 2 that means root 2 is rational because we got root 2 equal to but this contradicts the fact but continue children this contradicts the fact what fact is that root 2 is irrational actually it is irrational we proved it is rational why this contradiction has arisen because of our assumption is wrong so what we have written 6 plus root 2 is irrational here we complete our exercise 1.3 we'll move ahead with exercise 1.4 do take up some new questions and of different types 3 4 4 set we got in of the same type and practice so to work out exercise 1.4 some of the important two theorems are important for us to know here this theorem reads let x equal to p by q be a rational number such that prime factorization of q that is denominator denominator is only important in the next exercise is of the form 2 raised to m and 5 raised to n where n and m are non-negative integers such that x has a decimal expansion which terminates so let me put it in a, a simple format if it is 23 divided by 100 so we can put it in the form of 23 divided by 2 raised to m and 5 raised to n so that means it will have prime factorized only factors only 2 and 5 no other digit like 3 7 not allowed so if it is of denominator is of the form only 2 and 5 prime factors let the exponent be anything even they are unequal no problem then the decimal expansion will terminate in this case it will be 0.23 then then 
next one here this theorem says everything is same where x is v by q be the rational number such that prime factorization of q again denominator is not it should not be of the form if it is not of the form 2 raised to m and 5 raised to n then it will be uh, decimal expansion will be non terminating repeating so if it other than 2 and 5 if you see any other number then it would be non terminating and non repeating in a simple form i stress more on this part in a simple form so let's get started with the exercise here first one 3 divided by so we will be focusing only on uh, denominator so they say act without actually performing the long division state whether the following rational number will be terminating decimal expansion or non terminating so what we are going to look for in denominator 2 raised to m and 5 raised to n is there then it is terminating we will have decimal expansion otherwise non so we have three one more point most important point to be noted we will be looking for 2 exist along with 5 only 2 also it is ok only 5 also terminating see if at all only 2 exists we can take 5 raised to 0 that is 1 if only 5 is there 2 raised to 0 that is 5 any number raised to 0 will be 1 so 3 condition will be seen for terminating 2 and 5 exist terminating only 2 is there terminating only 5 is there terminating along with 2 and 5 if any other numbers are there then it will not be terminating so this is uh, 3 by when we factorize this our prime factorization 3 1 2 5 we will get 5 6 25 then 5 1 25 5 25 times 5 5 and 5 1 time how many we got 1 2 3 4 5 this is 5 raised to 5 is it terminating only 5 allowed so it is terminating how about this one 17 by 2 cube only 2 yes allowed it is terminating so let us check the next questions you all also can pause the video and do it this one 455 is we are not focusing on numerator 455 is 5 into 7 into 13 5 is okay but 7 and 30 not okay so it is a non terminating repeating how about 1600 we get 50 divided by 2 raised to 6 yes 2 raised to 6 into 5 square as I told you 2 and 5 ok and this exponent is different no problem yes this is terminating it is of the form 2 raised to m and 5 raised to n very much terminating this one no it is not it is 7 cube 7 not allowed so not terminating next one they only have done the factors and given 2 cube and 5 yes this is terminating so then here everything is okay and give one check whether this 7 raised to 5 not possible 7 raised to 5 is a huge number whether it has any factor both get cancelled before deciding give one check here in this case not possible so it is a non terminating yes this one if I write 2 6 and this is a 3 into 5 only 5 is ok 3 not ok but 3 and this that the problem 3 has been cancelled now it is terminating that means 6 by 15 is terminating this is what I meant check it in a simplest form whether this one the extra thing 3 7 whatever will it get cancelled give one check and then decide whether it is terminating or not terminating after this video I will be posting a menti I mean 10 question of this hot of this type of question do try work out those questions also 35 2 into 5 square yes yes it is terminating because only 2 5 very much allowed here you can see ok 7 is there but these are 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 7 does get cancelled but 3 still remains no it is not terminating done so here we complete our first main using we will now do the second main based on this second question write down the decimal expansion of those rational number in question 1 above which have terminating decimal expansion 
So whichever are terminating decimal expansion in question 1, we have to find their decimal expansion without actually dividing. So before starting on, let me give you an uh, example. If it is 4 divided by 10, you write it 0 0.4. If it is uh, 129 divided by 1000, then you put it 0 0.129. That is after 3 digit point. If it is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, then you will put 1, 2, 3, 4. It will be 12.3567. So these zeros are helping us to place the decimal point. Isn't it? So same concept we are going to use it here. So only 5 is allowed to make 10. If I have to make 10, 2 into 5 we will get. So I will see to that I will arrange a 2 over here. But only 2 will not help because this is a greater degree 5 it is there. So I will have to multiply by 2 raised to 5 only. So only denominator we cannot multiply. So we have to multiply for numerator also. So that we do not alter the value. So numerator will be 2 into 2 into 2 5 times 32. Check out for denominator children. Since the exponents are same. So base we will multiply and keep it. It is the law a raised to m into b raised to m. We have a b raised to m. So when the exponents are same we multiply the base. Same thing we are doing it here. So what do we get here in Numerator 3, uh, 32 into 3 will be 96. Denominator we get 10 raised to 5. So we get 5 zeros, 96 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If it is 5, don't add up this 1 and make it 6 zeros. It should be 5 zeros only. So what would be our decimal expansion? See right like this. 1, 2, we have only 2 digit but after 5 digit we have to get the point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, point. So this is your answer. Got. So here non-terminating I have removed. So next one is fourth question. Here we have already factorized, prime factorized the denominator. You need to check here. This is 2 raised to 6. How much I need to get 4? So if it is 5 square then I need plus 4 here. So I will multiply square into 5 raised to 4. Here so that we can add up and get 5 raised to 6. So I will multiply denominator by 5 raised to 4 into the numerator also 5 raised to 4. So 15 into 625 divided by check out denominator 2 raised to 6 into 5 raised to 6 you will get it. So what happens here is 15 into 625 is 9375 divided by 10 raised to 6. That means after 6 digit there will be a decimal point. So, shall we write here 5, just ignore this one, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, point. So, this is our answer for fourth question. In next one also, you can see 2 is there and 5 both are there. Higher degree here is 3, so I will need only 1, 5. So, I will multiply numerator and denominator by 5. So, we get here. 115 divided by 2 cube into 5 cube. So we get 115 divided by 10 cube. So what will be our answer after 3 digit? So 1, 2, 3 point. So this is our answer. In this I told you bring it to simple form. Actually in textbook this is a very simple question given. I have framed a, a DIY do it yourself question. 10 questions and given few extra question based on this concept. So see to that you work out all those 10 questions. So here what do I need? Only 1, 2 I need to make it 10. Because 5 is 1, we will want only 1. 4 by 10. So after 1 digit, 1.0. Done. Last one, 35 by 50. 50 is 2 into 5 square. So square here 2 and 2 is 1. We will require one more 2. Here 1 into 2 so numerator becomes 70 denominator 2 square into 5 square then we have 70 divided by 10 square 10 square means how many digit 2 digit so don't make it 3 digits now as student tendency of writing 10 square would be 10 1 2 like this no not like that 2 this 0 also is included in that so it will be 70 divided by 100 
after two digits seven point zero. I did not cancel here zero. You can cancel that and write it zero point seven. You can use the calculator and check out. This answer will be hundred percent right. The following real numbers have decimal expansion as given below. In each case, decide whether they are rational or not. Uh, if they are rational and of the form p by q, uh, what can you say about the prime factors of q? Okay, so here let us check. It is terminating. This is terminating. So it is terminating rational number. It is terminating rational number. So according to theorem, 1.6. That means q is of the form. What can you say about the prime factors of q? We can say that q is having prime factors 2 raised to m and 5 raised to n. This is in the form of 2 raised to m and 5 raised to n. Now check out the second one. This is dash dash here. This is non-terminating. It is not terminating, and it is non. repeating you can check out it is not repeating in a proper order or same numbers are no so that means it is irrational number so no question of the q here we don't talk about q here in the irrational part in this one we have repeating repeating non terminating non terminating What rational number? It is repeating non-terminating rational number. So according to theorem, theorem 1.7, we say that we can say that Q is not of the form 2 raised to m and 5 raised to n. So that is what. Here we complete the whole chapter. Hope you all understood, children.